everybody. I really hope you enjoyed our story, Apples to Oregon, today. It was a fun book to read about a fun adventure of moving plants halfway across the country. That's an incredible journey they took those plants on, over 2,000 miles to take apple trees and peach trees and plum trees and grapes and cherries. So um, it's really remarkable. And it's actually kind of true. So, um, but we don't get all of our food from the West Coast. We can grow a lot of our own food right here in our own backyard, no matter where you live in the United States. Even in Alaska, they can grow food. Um, but I want to show you, um, since it's spring and it's garden planting time, how to go ahead and plant things at home. Now, in many states, it's too cold to plant early in the year. But you can start your gardens indoors, and all you need are these little brown trays. You can get these at most stores. Um, but you know what, right now during the quarantine, we're not supposed to really be going out. Um, so how could you get your garden planted sooner? Well, you can do it very ecologically, and all you need are eggs. And what I did is I made breakfast one morning, and we cracked our eggs in half. And I've rinsed the eggs out so that all the stuff on the inside comes out. Here I left one here where you can see where it's kind of dried. And you're going to want to, with your just finger, just scrape out that papery interior if you didn't rinse it out good. And then, it's really simple, you just have to add dirt to your eggshell. And it's going to make a mess, so make sure you put paper down or do it outside where it's not going to get dirt everywhere. Otherwise, you have to vacuum. And just fill your eggshells here with your dirt. And when you get it mostly full, then you kind of want to pat it down a little bit. And then you can add your seeds. And I just grabbed some from my garden seed mix. We've got some flowers, we've got tomatoes, carrots, and beans. Beans tend to grow the fastest and the easiest. That's what I've already got growing here. You can see I planted four um, eggshells earlier before we did this video, and one was a dud. One didn't, one didn't bloom. And sometimes that happens, even in your real garden. Sometimes the birds eat the seeds, or sometimes they just don't um, sprout. So here's a handful of bean seeds, and you just have to take one seed per eggshell and push it down under the dirt. You push it down under the dirt and push it down under the dirt. You really don't want to do more than one seed per eggshell because as they grow, they're going to need root space and if they've got more than one seed in there, they're going to compete. Um, and you kind of want to try to get it in the center of the shell, not too close to the side. When your plants are big enough, like these are almost big enough for me to start thinking about moving out into our regular garden, which we're just about ready to plant, you can just plant the entire shell in the ground. Just take this whole thing and put it right down into the dirt. Just as it is, the eggshell will break down naturally and that will take care of that and it'll be good for the soil and the environment and, um, and your plant will grow. So now you've got this here, then you just need to add a little bit more dirt on top. You don't need a ton because you want that seed to sprout, but just enough to cover it up, keep it moist as, a, as the water gets into it and keep it protected. And now comes the fun part. Now we water it. And you just want to get a spray bottle like this one um, or gently um, with tap water and then just get your seeds wet. You want to get them really good and wet and you want to do this once a day because those seeds need a few things to sprout. They need moisture, they need the um, and the sunlight. So the next thing you want to do is put them in a sunny window. And if you live somewhere that doesn't get a lot of direct sun, you can put it under a um, fluorescent light um, to get it started and then put it in a window. Um, just make sure you water it every day. These new seeds will dry out pretty quick. And then there's that. But you know, I don't know about you guys, even though I plant a garden every year, I tend to kill a lot of what I grow. I don't have a lot of successful house plants. Um, I have a few, but most of them I've weaned off of water over the years, and they really struggle for life. So my favorite plant to grow is a cactus, because a cactus doesn't need a lot of water at all. I can water him like once a month, and he's very happy. But the problem with the cactus is you see these sharp things? Yeah, they kind of hurt when you get stabbed by them. 
And not all cacti have the Sharpie spines, but a lot of them do. And so they don't make everybody's favorite plant, um, even though they are pretty. And you can actually eat um, some cactus fruit. Cactus fruit is actually quite good. Um, and there's lots of animals out west that make their homes in the cactus that are out west in um, the southwestern states. But if you don't have a cactus, we can always make a cactus. And that is the craft I really wanted to show you guys today is how to make your own cactus rock garden. And these are really easy to make because all you need are rocks. And I found a couple of good sized rocks here and we can paint them to look like a cactus. Here's an example of two that I painted earlier. And in order to paint these rocks, all you need is some green paint. Um, these rocks I painted with two colors. I chose a dark green, this one is called Christmas green, and then a lighter green called Kelly green. And then I also chose a white paint um, for the spines and the stripes, but if you don't have white paint, maybe you have a white paint marker. I really like these for drawing the lines because it's a lot less mess and you can control the flow of the paint better. These can be a little more expensive though than this paint, so if you have this, this works too. Just get a finer paintbrush. And then on my, my um, sample craft that I made, we even made rock flowers to put on top of the cactuses here. Um, we made a purple one and a pink flower. And so I also found some purple paint and some pink paint and some yellow paint for those. And so you can make them any color you like. If you like red or blue or whatever color flowers, we can do that too. So let me quick show you how to paint this rock. You're gonna wanna take your green paint and if you don't have a paint tray, that's fine. Paper plate, piece of paper, a napkin, anything will do to hold your paint. And this is really simple. You just wanna slop that paint on your rock. You wanna get it all good and painted green. And I'm gonna do mine in dark green for this cactus that we're making. And we just wanna get it all around the edges here and around the sides and get it on there good. And like everything, the more paint you put on here, the longer it's going to take to dry. So you don't need a lot. I actually did one coat on each of these um, cactuses that I did previously. Um, and then we flipped them over to do the back sides to make them um, uniform all the way around. Um, and while that dries, I'll show you how we can paint our flower. I am going to make a purple flower for this one. And so you just want to take some purple paint. And you want to find a smaller rock like this. And you just want to take your paintbrush here and you want to paint him all purpley too. And if you've got paint on your fingers, you might want to wipe that off and let that get all purpley. Again, you only really need to do one side right now um, so that it can dry on the paper. And then you go find something else to do while your rock's dry. Maybe read another book. So we'll come back in just a minute and show you what the next step is. Okay, so as you can see, we went ahead and painted both sides here while we let it dry. And now both sides are dry, so now we can decorate it any way we like. Um, on these rocks, um, this one I painted the light green and then I added a dark green accent. And on this one, I painted the dark green and then I added the light green accent to it. Um, you can do that if you want, or you don't have to do that at all. And I think for this particular rock, we're just going to stick with just putting the white on. Um, I'm going to use the paint marker pen, but again, of course, you can use white paint if you'd like. Um, and this is kind of fun because with this one, we just make sure you shake it good. And then you can test it, and the paint comes out. And we're just going to put little polka dots all over our cactus here. To show like where the spiny spikes would come out and maybe like that and maybe a couple up here and it's easier to do this with a marker pen than it is with a paintbrush and then if we wanted to we could even put some little V shapes on it to suggest um, spines that are coming out of the cactus also little v-shapes um, preschoolers can make whatever they want on this to make it their cactus um, if you want to go online and look at pictures of cactuses cacti 
and see um, different ideas to make yours look special, you can do that. And that kind of gives you an idea as to what that would look like. Now for our flower, the purple paint has dried. We don't have to do the bottom because we're going to glue it onto our, our cactus. So it covers it up. Actually, we might do it on top like that. And um, so all we have to do is put a trim on it. Um, we can go ahead and pull out our palette here again. I'm going to go with the lighter purple paint for this. Um, and take a thinner paintbrush. If you're going to paint with the white for the stripes, you're going to want to see if you can't get the smallest paintbrush you can find. And we're just going to put a little bit of paint on here. We're going to paint a circle in the middle. And then we're just going to paint out lines for the, um, for the petals. And it's okay if you smudge. Nobody's going for art prizes here. And I know that kids love to paint rocks, so let them be as creative as they want with this, using whatever colors they want. Um, they can make their, their um, flowers as creative or as simple as they like. You could even add a little touch of yellow to here. You can put a little yellow here and here. really make it pop. I used to live in the desert and when it blooms it is amazingly beautiful. There's really nothing quite like the desert when it blooms. And maybe we can put a little bit of yellow right in the middle like so. And then we'll let that dry. And that dries pretty fast if we put the yellow on it. The nice thing about the marker is you can see it's already dry. That, the marker paint dries really really quick. To make it essential. While our flower is drying, we can go ahead and get our pot prepared. For my sample, I actually used a regular pot. Um, my neighbor does a lot of sculpting and he made this one for us. And we just use that. But you can also use any kind of container. I found these cute little tins at Walmart for 75% off after Easter. And um, so or for a quarter, I got a couple of these. And since most people don't have pounds and pounds and pounds of rocks lying around, I filled it with paper to give us the, the depth that we need. You can also fill it with dirt or sand. It'll be really, really heavy, which is the other reason I went with paper to lower the weight on it. And then um, what we're going to do is we're going to arrange our rocks then to fit inside our container. And you want to make them um, sit in there nice and comfortably. And then this one we could put, let me think here how that looks. Maybe like so. And then if we take um, some pebbles that we have, I have a bag of pebbles here that are all spilling out because it was torn when the mice got into my craft supplies, silly mice. And we can just fill up the top here with pebbles. And or if you have bigger size rocks you can use, you just want to have some kind of filler to help keep your cactuses from spilling over and um, and to give it kind of a more of a natural look to it um, in your cactus garden. And then um, if you don't want to paint a flower, you can buy flowers um, in any garden um, or craft supply store. I found this nice little succulent at Walmart. Um, you could tuck that in here too to make it um, look like it's coming out of the, the cactus like that. Or you can use a hot glue gun and you can glue your flower rock. Just put a little bit of glue on the back side of it like that. And then decide where you want your flower to reside. And then just put it on top of your cactus. And there you have a blooming cactus garden. Easy peasy and you don't have to worry about forgetting to water it because it will never die. So um, let your kids have fun painting rocks. It's a nice fun indoor activity to do on a rainy day. Um, you guys can wander outside through the woods looking for rocks and shapes and sizes and come up with all kinds of cool things to paint. You can paint animal shapes, you can paint bugs like ladybugs um, or make all kinds of cool flowers. So I hope you enjoyed our craft today and we look forward to seeing you guys again later. Bye-bye.